Well, if you did, you probably saw her at the Dobridge Circus. Uh, oh. She has brought along some of her friends from the circus, and we're going to open our door right now and see if we can locate them in center stage. Yeah, isn't that cute? Cute little critters. And there they are, critting over there. Well, panel, Irene's secret, whatever my mouth said, concerns these little critters. And if you'll whisper your secret to me, Irene, we'll tell the audience what it is. Oh, <laughs> it takes all kinds, folks. <laughs> And we'll start the questioning with Pat Carroll. All right, thank you, Steve. Irene, um, uh, would this secret have to do with something the animals did? No. Uh, is it something about a familial relationship? Because there are three of them there. We, in a sense, we have to give you a yes, a kind of a weird offbeat yes on that. Is, is there any kind of incest involved or anything like that? <laughs> None of your business. Not on this program. <laughs> All right, one down and three to go, Alan Alda. Uh, Irene, is, uh, is, it, is there something, uh, is some way in which uh, uh, you're related to these uh, uh, primates here? <laughs> yes. Above and beyond the sense in which we all are, you mean? Uh, yes, yes. Yes, there, uh, uh, yes. Is there, um, do you have a very, uh, 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 I, I just have a, a sense of, do you have a personal connection with them? A very, I mean, I noticed the audience left. You seem to have a very personal connection with these. Uh, mm -hmm. Yes. Very good, Alan. Uh, two down, two to go, Betty White. Well, I'm an animal nut, as you know, and that is the biggest chimp I have ever seen in my whole life. I mean, if, if he grew to be 23 years old, I don't think... That's, he, that's more of a gorilla kind of a that's thing. Kind of a, that's kind of a big ape. Um, it, are, are the two smaller apes babies? Yes. How old is the center chimp? I don't really know. We don't really know. A very interesting question, however. Three down, one to go, Richard uh, Dawson. Uh, Irene, could it be that the uh, Al baboon in the middle is not really a baboon? You're absolutely yes. right. <laughs> Would it be your g -g husband? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Dickie. That's her husband, and the little one is her daughter. <laughs> and the other one is her lovely son, who is studying to be a doctor. Why don't you let uh, one of the little ones out there, Johnny Olson? Yeah, don't let the big one. And we'll look out. Hey, look out, look out! Uh, oh, oh, hold it, hold it. Wait. Oh, that's a... I'm not too sure that this thing is... Uh... Irene, was your name Fay Ray at any time? <laughs> How are you? Look out there! Oh. Oh, yeah. Ah. Isn't that sweet? <laughs> Betty White does love Annie. Hello, how are you? <laughs> Looks like my husband. <laughs> <laughs> Acts like him, too. <laughs> Male chauvinist chimp. <laughs> Actually, the, uh, the gentleman, for of course we have so identified him, inside the uh, uh, Harry suit, there he goes, is Mr. Harry suit. No. <laughs> his name is Janos Prohaska, and you've enjoyed his work in such famous pictures as Planet of the Apes. You've also seen him on the Andy Williams show as the Cookie Bear. Janos, there he is. How are you? Good to see you. Give our best regards to our friends at the Dobrich Circus, and thank you very much, both of you, for giving us a really hairy secret tonight. That is The best way to celebrate Betty White's life is with a two-day tribute featuring our favorite Betty White episodes. Continues all day today on Buzzer. Shriners Hospitals for Children is proud to join Buzzer in celebrating the legacy of Betty White. Family. 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 Family is everything. Family is with us through all of life's great moments. Family is who we count on in our greatest time of need because they are always by your side when we need them the most. And for the past 100 years, Shriners Hospitals for Children has become family to over 1.5 million kids. In tough times and good times, they're there when we need them most. But it's only possible because of people like you. People who give every month. Because of that, you're our family too. You're there when we need you most. 
But if you haven't joined the Shriners Hospital family yet, now is your chance. All you have to do is call the number on your screen or go online to loveshriners.org right now with your monthly gift, and you'll help thousands of kids just like us get the care and support we need every day. When you call or go online today with your monthly gift of just $19, just 63 cents a day, we'll send you this adorable Love to the Rescue blanket as our gift to you. It'll be a reminder of how you're standing by our side, just like family. Thank you. Thank you for being a part of our family. Thank you for being a part of my family. Your monthly gift today can change my life forever. You can join with the thousands of caring family members who give each month by calling this special number on your screen right now. It's so good to know that we have a family like you who cares enough to stand by our side. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Please call or go online right now to loveshriners.org with your monthly gift. You'll make a difference in our lives every day. We'll be going on a journey together, stretching back a couple thousand years. Hi, I'm Drew Brees, former NFL quarterback, and I invite you to download the Pray.com app to listen to my bedtime Bible story about the birth of Jesus. It's a tricky word to say. My stomach hurts. But a fun game to play. You pronounce it. Tom Kennedy hosts the game of fill-ins and villains. It's today at 4.30 on Buzzer. Let's see if we have another contestant backstage, huh? <laughs> nice to have you with us, sir. Would you tell the panel your name? T.A. Preston. T.A. Preston. And your home city is? Amarillo, Texas. Amarillo. A panel of Mr. Preston's secret concerns something, uh, shall we say, unfortunate, decidedly unfortunate, that happened to him one night. Mr. Preston, if you'll whisper that secret to me, we'll let the world know what I'm talking about. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> As I said, panel, it concerns something uh, pretty rough that happened to him one night, and we'll start the questioning with Dickie Dawson. Uh, Mr. Preston, did, were you injured when this occurred? Uh, no, sir. Not physically? Not physically. Not physically. Uh -uh. Uh, did it involve a robbery of any kind? <laughs> no, I hope not. Uh, I, I hope not. No. Were you held prisoner by some exciting ladies or something? Uh, no, darn it. Would you like to be? I'd like to be. <laughs> uh, did this happen while you were doing your normal job? Yes, sir. If I did your job, could it happen to me? Is it a likely? <laughs> More than likely it would, yes, sir. <laughs> the general thing could happen. There might be some question about the matter of degree. Thank you, Dickie. One down and three to go. Pat Carroll. Well, we haven't established exactly what you do, Mr. Preston. I, I would gather from your Western regalia uh, that it might have something to do with your work. Are, are you in Rodeo? No, ma'am. Are you a Western country singer? <laughs> Certainly not. Well, are you some kind of nut, then? <laughs> <laughs> Just wears cowboy clothes. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, uh, what, what he does, he's, he's pretty uh, big potatoes. Well, then, oh. <laughs> two down, two to go. Potato? Thank you, Pat. <laughs> we go out, Alan. You are a uh, baked potato. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. That's uh, right. Baked potato. <laughs> From Texas. Now, you, do you do what you do in Texas? No, sir, this didn't happen in Texas. Uh, I see. But he can uh, do it anywhere. But you can uh, do it anywhere. And it was related to your work. Do you do your work around the country in various places? It, and, all over the world, And yes. it happened at night? Was this the kind of thing that would be likely to happen at night? Probably a little did more, more in, likely to be. Did it happen in yes. front of an audience? Well, they were an unsolicited audience, I'd say. There was plenty yeah, of people there. They were yes. onlookers. I see. Not a paying audience, though. No. no, sir. No. Uh, did, this, did this involve an animal? Uh, no, sir. Uh, <laughs> three down, one chance left. Betty White. So you're not going to take that hat off and you're in a chimp suit. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's right. Oh, was this... Did, this happened recently, I trust. Oh, uh, uh, within the past two years. This, the past two years. Yeah. Was there any embarrassment to you at the time? Well, I felt no embarrassment. I felt a little remorse, and yet I felt no embarrassment. Some of us in no. his position would feel embarrassed. It would probably embarrass the majority of the people, yes. Were you sober at the time? <laughs> I don't drink. 
Oh, well, then that, that's what I say. Were you sober then? <laughs> Truly, I was. Um, what, did it concern a woman? No, no, no. Did it concern another man? Several other men. Several other... Uh -huh. <laughs> That's a very funny answer, as you'll understand when I tell you that uh, what was going on was a poker game. And Mr. Preston's secret, if you're sitting down, as the old saying goes, was that he lost in one night 190,000 bucks. And uh, it's even more unusual when you stop to consider that he is a good enough poker player to have recently won the World Series of Poker in Las Vegas. Uh, he's better known to his fans everywhere as Amarillo Slim. Oh. <laughs> but he says it would have been embarrassing indeed. Slim, how much did you win when you won that World Series? Uh, $60,000. There was... Uh... It was intended for 12 of us to originally play, and uh, we'd played quite a lengthy session just prior to this. In fact, I played two days and nights with six hours rest in between, wow. and uh, only eight of us agreed to go into the finals of it because it gets quite exciting. When you're kind of dopey from lack of sleep, do you play a little worse? You do, people do everything else worse when they're in that chair. Well, no, sleep doesn't seem to bother me to a degree. I've, this last session lasted 38 hours. Of course, that's quite lengthy, but... Uh, you have enough incentive to stay awake, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if this isn't too stupid a question, uh, uh, how did you lose the 190000 Just lose again and again and again? Well, uh, like I said, I'd rather see early frost on my peach trees than to jump off out there and lose that kind of money. But uh, <laughs> occasionally the lamb slaughter the butcher, you know. Uh, <laughs> well, uh, uh, it's, uh, that's the way to put it. Uh, it's possible for it's possible for any one of these people when I guess you know uh, little Flip Wilson beat me playing poker. Of course, mm -hmm. there's a rumor the game wasn't on the square, but uh, yeah. By the way, Slim, are you married? Yes, sir. Definitely married. Now, can you imagine Dick and the rest of the panel coming home and breaking the news to the little woman <laughs> that you just happened to drop one hundred ninety thousand dollars? How do you I handle that when you lose? I uh, well, you see, I keep uh, I keep my gaming activities aside from my family, my wife. Uh, and children think I must be a clever booger. If I have a big loss, I don't tell them about it. I keep it from them. My wife thinks a king's a ruler of a foreign country and a queen's his bedmate. She doesn't. Uh, <laughs> uh, she doesn't. Uh, she doesn't know much about yes, it. I, as yeah, a yeah. fellow poker player, but certainly not in your league, I wonder, would you just think of a card for me, please? Just any think card of a at all. card? Is this yeah. your thing? No, do really. Go right ahead. Any all card right. at all. No, actually, right, I'm thinking of a card. Would you tell us now what card it was you were thinking of? The Queen of Hearts. I had the king. You owe me five dollars. <laughs> <laughs> I lose again. Right, thank, thank you, Dickie. Thank you, Slim. Thank you. This is an important message for everyone on Medicare. Today we are talking about Medicare Part C, commonly called Medicare Advantage. If you don't have a Medicare Part C plan, call now because there may be plans with additional benefits available that are simply not covered under Medicare Parts A and B. That's right, there are people on Medicare but don't have a Medicare Part C plan which covers everything in Part A and Part B plus extra benefits in Medicare Part C. Here's the good news. If you're on Medicare, you can call even if you called last year. We will check to see if there is a Part C plan available in your area with additional benefits. If you're losing coverage, moving, or new to Medicare, call to speak with a licensed insurance agent during the special enrollment period. You don't get Medicare Part C benefits automatically, so call now for your free 2022 no-obligation Medicare benefits review. Just call 800-914-0392. 800-914-0392. Look, this isn't my first rodeo. And let me tell you something. I wouldn't be here if I thought reverse mortgages took advantage of any American senior. Or worse, that it was some way to take your home. It's just a loan designed for older homeowners, and it's helped over a million Americans. A reverse mortgage loan isn't some kind of trick to take your home. It's a loan like any other. Big difference is how you pay it back. Find out how reverse mortgages really work with AAG's free no obligation reverse mortgage guide. Eliminate monthly mortgage payments, pay bills, medical costs, and more. Call now and get your free info kit. Call 1-800-840-5592 now. Other mortgages are paid each month, but 
With a reverse mortgage, you can pay whatever you can when it works for you, or you can wait and pay it off in one lump sum when you leave your home. Discover the option that's best for you. Call today and find out more in AAG's free no-obligation reverse mortgage loan guide. Access tax-free cash and stay in the home you love. You've probably been investing in your home for years, making monthly mortgage payments, doing the right thing. And it's become your family's heart and soul. Well, that investment can give you tax-free cash just when you need it. Learn how homeowners are strategically using a reverse mortgage loan to cover expenses, pay for health care, preserve your portfolio, and so much more. Look, reverse mortgages aren't for everyone, but I think I've been around long enough to know what's what. I'm proud to be a part of AAG. I trust them. I think you can too. Trust AAG for the best reverse mortgage solutions. Call 1-800-840-5592 now so you can retire better. Now let's meet tonight's special guest star, the one and only Milton Burl. Hey! to welcome you to I've Got a Secret. I'm very happy to be here. Amarillo Slim just beat me for 190. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you right off the bat, uh, panel, what you may have already assumed, that Milton's secret concerns what's in the trunk. Oh, he brought it along tonight that. from home, and uh, Milton, if you'll whisper your secret to me, we'll let the world know when I'm talking. Pardon me? What's in the trunk? <laughs> <laughs> If we only had a drummer, I'd give you one of these. <laughs> but we don't have a drummer. Is that a... Yeah. Okay, we'll start the questioning with Betty White. What's in the trunk? Is it anything alive in that trunk? No. It's been dead for a long time. <laughs> dead? <laughs> oh, it's a dead. <laughs> dead, dead. I was going to speak to you about that. Does it have anything to do with uh, anything like costuming or anything? No, like... no, no costuming. Any, no wearing apparel at all? No, no wearing apparel. No. Uh, is it anything that ever has been alive? Has been alive? Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh. How, strictly speaking, it, it, no, in, well, in the not, sense you mean, no. No, no, no. no. It's is, a joke that I'm speaking. I'm just clowning. That are time. you going to... Oh, that's not like you. Uh -huh. <laughs> is, is it anything you're going to do uh, Do anything with when it comes out of the box? I don't... Maybe, yeah, maybe, yeah. yeah, yeah could, but there's the buzz. You're all right. One down and three to go. Did Irving? Go? Irving Dawson. Right. Uh, uh, Richard. Uncle Milty. Yes, Booby. Would this be anything to do with what has been responsible for you being one of the great American comedians? In a way, yeah, in a way, yeah. Would this be anything to do with your television show when you became the king of... In a way, America? yeah, right. Would this be the gag files that you used? That's, or the scripts? That's, of that's the about right. That is substantially it. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Jokes, jokes. I want that. Yeah. <laughs> Dickens says, this is a stick-up. Hand over the jokes. Actually, to get the whole file here, we'd probably have to have a boxcar, right? Well, I have four and a half million jokes. I couldn't put them in here. That's, That's true. Kind of young. <laughs> <laughs> That's very good. I know Robert Alder. Yeah. <laughs> well, we do have in here a lot of the actual jokes from Milton's big show. Well, why don't we open them up and, yeah. and uh, would you do something? These, are, these are the jokes that I did on You've my... You've got both jokes in there? <laughs> <laughs> these are really some of Milty's great these, funny these are, these are some of the jokes that I did on the early television show. Uh, shall I start one? Please do one, yes. Uh, now, what, notice the delivery. You folks can learn how to do yeah, a joke. delivery. Belongs on a truck. Now, here we go. <laughs> Uh, this is one of the... They're, they're non-sequiturs, so we're just uh, separately. Uh, I was so poor in my uh, younger days, we all had to sleep in one bed. <laughs> I never knew what it was to sleep alone until after I got married. <laughs> I... Oh, oh, oh. That's one. Now... How about the panel telling some jokes? Uh, sure. We've got the greatest joke tellers, such as Alan Alda, <laughs> who used to be famous many years ago, I think. We have, we have in here some jokes for the ladies, jokes for the men. The men's are blue, I believe, and the ladies take the pink ones. All right, uh, you pick one out. Pick one out. We get the clean ones. No, 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 no. It's, it's ladies' jokes and gentlemen's jokes. Ready? You're on, Booby. 
Well, I learned dancing from Arthur Murray, but later I found it was more fun with a girl. But seriously, folks. <laughs> All right, Betty. Okay. You're on. A woman called up the police department and said, I have a sex maniac in my apartment. Pick him up in the morning. <laughs> All right, I will give one to the funny man. <laughs> uh, I can't read this. His writing's written rotten. It's too close to the paper. Yeah, a pretty girl walked into the psychiatrist's office, and he grabbed her and hugged her and kissed her. And then he said, well, that takes care of my problems. Now, what are yours? Good delivery. One of the baby. Pick one up. It's written in Braille. I didn't see that. <laughs> My idea of embarrassment is when you look through a keyhole and see another eye looking at you. <laughs> you want to tell him? Very good. Let's get Steve. You don't want to? Now, I'm going to make a present of all these jokes to Dickie Dawson. Oh, thank you. And you get nothing. <laughs> I'll tell you what, panel. There is one other thing. You got into the idea of wardrobe a little earlier. There's something else that Milton brought uh, along tonight that he's kept close to his heart for years. Uh, Milton, why don't you see if yeah, you can I'll, find I'll it back there? I'll get it. It really is something very important in his family history. It's one of his dearest possessions. I don't think he'd go very many places without it. If you visit Hollywood, you might walk along Hollywood Boulevard some days, see a Milton Berle with it. And uh, I think, yes, here it is. <laughs> This dress is the first one ever worn by a man, that is, on television. Over 25 years ago, Milton was the first comedian to wear a funny lady's dress on television. <laughs> Listen, would you put it on for old time's sake? Swell. I'll tell you, you want to help me. Old time's Just for old time's sake. I want to turn you back to This way, all right. No, you, you turn the other way. Oh, my, my way, I'm sorry. Yeah. All right, fine. There we go. Ready? <laughs> Wait a minute, just a minute. Just once. Don't do that. <laughs> I didn't know. I'm looking for the Velcro. There we are. I now pronounce the man and wife. <laughs> there we are, fine. And now. I was too sorry for the party. <laughs> oh, they don't make them like this. Yeah. As I said, Milton was the first man to look like an idiot like this. <laughs> no, but while we're talking to you first, Milton, I would like to... Uh, Can I get out of this, please? Not, please. Uh, no, I think you should only... You want us to get out of it? Seriously? Yeah, because right, the whole thing's warm. a bust. <laughs> <laughs> Pardon me, I'm sorry. That's fine. Where's your whistle? <laughs> I'm going, I'm going to speak seriously, Milton, for just a moment on behalf of the National Academy of Television Arts and Sciences in congratulating you for receiving their 25th anniversary silver medallion for your important contributions to early live TV comedy. And, uh, in giving Milton this honor, uh, I have some notes here. This is what the Academy said. I want you to hear it. It's appropriate that this award should go to the first superstar of television, the man who ruled the networks for years and years. He was really responsible for churches changing bingo night from Tuesday to Friday. <laughs> he was responsible for the sales of millions of television sets. His performance record and popularity may never be equaled, and that's no secret. Congratulations, Milton. <laughs> This is Liz. She just stepped up to care for her mom. And she has questions. Like, what medical supplies should I get? And what brands are best? And how do I choose an adult diaper? And how am I going to be there for my mom? Luckily, Liz has CareWell. It's a one-stop shop for everything caregiving, founded by actual caregivers, and staffed by real caregiving specialists. They'll direct you to great brands like Depends, Tranquility, and Insure, and take all your questions, even the embarrassing ones. So you get great prices on caregiving products, real guidance on how to use them, discreet delivery, and super fast shipping. Like faster than you know what online megastore fast. Know what online megastore fast. Being there for the people you love isn't always easy, but with CareWell, you got this. Go to carewell.com to get $10 off your first order. 
at Southern New Hampshire University never stop celebrating our students. From day one to graduation to your dream job. That's why we're keeping your tuition low for the 10th year in a row. The affordability and the quality of education, it can be enough to change your life. As a nonprofit university, we believe in making college more affordable for everyone. Southern New Hampshire University, it was just an amazing experience. Find your degree at snhu.edu. Just a quick bit of time for one more contestant. What is your name, sir? Maurice Wooden. Wooden. Wooden, yes. Maurice Wooden from? S Santa Monica. Santa Monica, California. Mr. Wooden panel has something to do with dogs, and if you'll whisper what you have to do with dogs, to me, the whole world will find out about it. Uh-huh. Thank you, Christian. The secret panel. The secret concerns something that Mr. Wooden does for dogs. We'll start the questioning with Richard Dawson. I think we just have one question apiece here. Okay. <clears throat> do you talk to dogs and help them understand their problem? It's much more exciting than that. <laughs> You don't really have to give them that much information, Mr. Wooden, but that's all right. <laughs> One down in Pat Carroll's turn. Mr. Wooden, uh, would what you have to do, if it's more exciting than that, have to do, say, with training uh, the dogs for theatrical work? Are they show-busy dogs? Still more exciting. Is anything more exciting than a show-busy dog? <laughs> If he keeps this up, he's just going to tell you the secret in a minute here. It's... However, you're doing a very good job. Alan Oldham. If it's all that exciting, do you, uh... I can't think of anything really exciting to do with a dog. Uh... uh... <laughs> And you look... Good for you, Alan. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Because my family's watching. Uh, do you, uh, do you, uh, do you train these dogs to, uh, uh, to, uh, handle bank robberies on either side of the law? No, sir. Well, that's exciting. Okay, just time for a quick question. Betty White? Well, with a name like Wooden, I'd stay far away from dogs if I were you. <laughs> yes. Um... They might carry them home, you mean. Do, do you teach dogs to sniff out marijuana? <laughs> no, ma'am. Well, some people do. You know what I'm trying to I don't know why that struck me funny, but what do I know? His secret is, panel, that he runs a canine dating service. He's the Cupid of the dog world. Here's his business card. He actually has a computerized dating service. He doesn't just put your dog with any bum on the street, you know. It's very high-class stuff. Thank you very much, Mr. Wooden, and thanks to your dogs or whatever. And thank you. We will see you later, or we'll be right back, as the case may be. A great night's sleep is so important to your health and well-being. Sheik's Performance Sheets help you sleep cool and dry. Sheik's are the world's most breathable, moisture-wicking, ridiculously soft sheets with superior stretch. Go to trysheets.com to save over $100 today. We asked real customers today. We asked real customers to tell us what they love most about Consumer Cellular. What I love, the pricing was fantastic. They care about the customer. It gives us exactly what we want. The prices, the coverage. Reliability, customer service, it's all there. Consumer Cellular provides the exact same premium coverage as the nation's leading carriers for half the cost. Consumer Cellular offers really great coverage. It's the same. It was the same, if not better. The coverage has been excellent. You wasting your money you should go with consumer cellular with consumer cellular you can get talk text and data starting at twenty dollars a month what i get out of consumer cellular is a very low bill it practically cut our phone bill in half compared to the last carrier we had we are saving hundreds of dollars each month and with our flexible plans it's easy to make changes anytime with no penalties consumer cellular understands that life changes their plans are flexible so you can change it anytime you want so switch to consumer cellular and start <laughs> saving today call or go online now switching was so quick we kept our phones and we kept our same number our customer service team is 100 percent based in the u.s they treat their customers the way they want to be treated and we've received the jd power award for highest customer service again customer service is great they listen to you they are always concerned about my needs we offer all the latest 5g phones or or you can keep your current phone. I upgraded to an iPhone. They have every single cool phone. And AARP members get exclusive discounts. It's like four scoops of ice cream for the price of one. It was so easy. I wished I had changed sooner. So switch to Consumer Cellular today and get a 100% risk-free guarantee. Call 1-800-393-1740. Go to ConsumerCellular.com or visit a Target store today. Trust me, you'll be satisfied. This is 
Johnny Olson speaking for I've Got a Secret, a Mark Goodson, Bill Tottenham production. Everyone in this arena has a money stake in one of our famous couples as we play the game of celebrity gossip, Tattletale. And here's the star of Tattletales, Bert Convey. Okay. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Tattletales. Tales. Thank you for tuning us in, and thank you, ladies. Now, I have to mention the Phi Delta? Thetas. Thetas. From where? Northridge. From Northridge? Okay, I just did. The Phi Delta Thetas from Northridge. <laughs> Welcome. We're, uh, we're having uh, some wonderful groups here. We'll go on uh, later and tell you who else is here, because it makes it fun for us to, to have people come down in a group. makes it fun for them, too, and they win money for a worthy cause, so you do that, too. Here are the people who are going to win money for your cause today. For the blues section, country singer Bill Anderson and his wife, Becky Anderson. <laughs> Winning money today for the banana section, the star of The Man from Atlantis, Patrick Duffy and his wife, Carlin. Winning money today for the red section, Alan Ludden and his wife, Betty White. Okay, you're gonna do it. <laughs> uh, living and learning, eh? Won the first show as a rookie, right? Yeah. Didn't I that. tell you rookies did well? Right. The old folks lost. We didn't. No. When did. Becky and I were on the show the first time, we didn't win until we were here the second time. Oh. <laughs> Is that right? Yeah, oh, we were terrible. Oh. We well, went home in separate cabs the first time we were here. <laughs> well, I'm glad you came back then. Everything is all right still. We As a matter of fact, uh, things are all right, too, with The Better Sex. I love that show, and I love you on the show, too. Thank you. Yeah, you're, you're terrific. terrific. Thank, you. Thank you. It's a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. I, I now know a lot more about what you're doing, and I appreciate the things that you do and oh. have to go through after well, having been on the other side. Yeah, of but it's fun. It and is. Because it's it's it sure fun. looks like you're having a good time. And I really do enjoy the show. I Thank really you. do. Listen, if you're ready to go, ladies, uh, this question is for you worth 150 bucks. During an argument, oh, I like this question, whose language is more likely to be X-rated, yours or your <laughs> husband's? Okay? <laughs> Goodbye. X-rated language, eh, Bill? Well, we're going to all find out about you. <laughs>